if you're somebody who has been thinking about investing in real estate and you are not sure about what to do or you're somebody who has never heard about real estate investment and you don't even know how to start this video is for you because right here i'm going to talk about um, real estate investment for beginners uh, i'm going to guide you i'm going to be brief as much as possible but be rest assured that you will get the very important points you must take note of if you want to start investing in real estate as a beginner my name is raymond e Gemma, and i am the lawyer that loves real estate or if you like the real estate entrepreneur that exists law and real estate as a tool in building wealth for myself and my clients and i hope that um, when you decide to start investing in real estate i am able to be a part of that story the story that will lead to building sustainable wealth using real estate so do subscribe to the channel like this video drop a comment and stay in touch with this family because right here it is all about building wealth using real estate and this video is brought to you by Fortrill Ray Limited a real estate company right here in the very city of Abuja so um, first first things first right um, if you want to talk about real estate it ordinarily means that you you could only touch small money that kind of thing um, you need money to invest in real estate you can't do real estate without money and depending on the kind of real estate you want to do or the level that you want to start um, sometimes or most times real estate will require good money it may not be a hundred thousand it may not be two hundred thousand um, some other times, again, depending on the type of real estate, you will at different types of real estate investment. There's residential, there's commercial, there's industrial, there's the development part where you develop massive estates for people, right? So there are different levels. But the whole idea of investing in real estate is that you are able to put in your money and then get returns, get ROI, returns on investment. In other words, the goal is to be able to build wealth. Some persons buy real estate for different reasons. Some, uh, for them, it's just about owning a land and building your house where you will live with your family. For some other persons, it is a vehicle to build wealth. And since you are new, or if you are new, just getting to hear about real estate, let me assure you, let me tell you something with, with um, the highest level of confidence that there is no wealthy man. There is no wealthy man on earth. There's no worthy man anywhere, whether Christian, Muslim, whoever, that is not directly or indirectly invested in real estate or that is not directly investing in real estate. One way or another, they are doing real estate passively or actively, right? So if you are thinking about whether you want to do real estate or not, I don't think the question should be whether you should or not. The question is, when do I start and how do I start? So. Uh, if you're still bothered about whether you should do it, let this be your reminder not to, to think in that direction anymore. Right now, you should be thinking about how do I start, right? And looking at the question of how do I start, again, have money. Um, depending on how you want to start, you can start with a million naira, depending on the location as well. So there are a number of things that are important if you want to invest in real estate. Location is very important, right? Just brief points. Um, title is very important. You can check out other videos where I will explain all of that. But basic steps for beginners is number one, have money. The kind of money that will be able to help you achieve the kind of real estate investment goal that you desire. In other words, there has to be um, a desire, what you are aiming at. When you have that, it is easy for you to be able to now say, okay, I have the money or I don't have the money or how do I find the money? Number two, you need to understand real estate investment generally study about real estate investment a bit i say this because it will help you to refine or define your why in a way that can convince you or help you be committed to the cost of investing in real estate so the sum of number two is that get basic understanding of how real estate works and look at real estate as a local business don't start researching about real estate investment in the u.s whereas you want to invest in real estate in nigeria there's a difference so when when researching or seeking knowledge about real estate investment make sure that you are not researching about real estate investment in the uk whereas you are looking to invest in the nigerian real estate market there's a difference so you must focus your knowledge or your research right and then when you now figure out um, how it plays out at a basic level then you should now begin to set a goal 
set a goal of what you want to achieve. Do I want to do industrial? Do I want to do residential? Do I want to do Airbnb? Do I want to do short led? Do I want to do land banking? There are different options that you can choose to explore at that level. Number four is involve a property lawyer. Involve a property lawyer. Uh, there are professionals in the field that you need to make sure that you hold by your hand. Depending on the location that you are operating in or you will be investing in, uh, people who are important within the real estate space include um, lawyers, property lawyers, emphasis on property lawyers, surveyors, quantities of yours, um, brokers, and general real estate practitioners. All right, so, so just get involved or involve yourself or engage the right people to look at. Uh, I mean, guide you in the process of investment. Number five, look out for your location. Location uh, real estate is location sensitive. Right, so there's the general location of the city, and there's the, the the specific location of where do you want to invest in in that particular city. There could be a different law that applies within that location. Number six, which is very very important, is that you must use certain strategies. It is not enough, to, not just enough to have money. I've said it over and over. It is not just enough to have the money. It's important. That you are using or engaging the right strategy so that you will be able to maximize the use of that money while investing in real estate so for example you must make sure that you explore certain strategies like off-plan uh, pre-launch offers uh, you can look at instrumental offers and as well you can in fact there is the pre-purchase offers which is not very common but certain private um, um, partners use it to build wealth for themselves and there's the cash is king strategy and then i think i should also add that there's a distress strategy which um, i don't always recommend particularly for new or beginners uh, because it is it has some delicacies that you have to pay attention to or rather it has some delicate parts that you have to really look into from a professional perspective to avoid certain issues and the last which is number seven is that you should engage an experienced broker real estate agent or realtor as you choose to call it if you have the right broker then all the points i just shared with you will be taken care of because the job of that realtor that real estate agent that broker will be to guide you if the person guides you person literally holds your hand then you are good to go uh, about one year ago uh the point of doing this particular video um, a young lady uh, at the time she was 24. She reached out, uh, searched on the internet, and according to her, uh, her videos were literally everywhere. And she reached out, and at the time she came to my office, I thought she came in uh, for the purpose of um, marketing real estate or something. But I heard she she just told me that she wanted to buy a home. That was her her language. She wanted to buy a home, and I had to readjust my chair because I didn't see that coming and having conversations she had money saved off for about two years and within two weeks of that conversation because she already trusted us based on how everything played out prior to reaching out uh, within two weeks of her having that conversation with me in my office we ended up securing uh, one house for her and two lands and as of today the house is paid for and our location is going to be done in a few days and she would now start doing finishing for her house. It was bought on offline, which was a strategy. In fact, at the time we came out to take a paper, which is part of the conversation. In fact, she put me on retainership. She was the, she's the first young lady that has put me on retainership. Uh, she paid for the retainership and then we had to design an investment plan for her. And today I'm happy that she's now done three lands and a house, a first house is now to be handed over to her. And that is totally exciting. Uh, so for her, it was her first time. She had the money saved off for about two years, but she needed a broker, somebody to hold her hand. And that is part of why I said number seven is very important. If you do, or if you have number seven, or if you have the right person under the number seven point, then you are good to go. So as a beginner, um, look out for number one to number seven. And if you get these steps right, you will be good to go. Uh, again, my name is Raymond Ijama, and I'm having this conversation with you with the hope that you are able to make a decision to invest in real estate. And when you do, I hope that you do it the right way. Don't forget, involve the right broker, involve the right people. And if you do that, you will definitely.
be fine. This video is brought to you by Fortry Real Limited Real Estate Company right here in the University of Abuja. And as a company, we're happy to serve you and make sure that you get the best of real estate at every point. There are other amazing videos that you may want to check out on this channel. Uh, and then, of course, other strategic investment opportunities you do not want to miss.